there is a full-scale war happening in Ukraine. Peace talks or the attempt at them is happening, sure. But the Russian forces are moving and pushing. In Kiev today, there is we've seen shells today. We've seen rockets being fired on Kiev. There's attempts to continue encircling the town from the west. I'm just uh, just back from the southern front line in, in Kiev. The point is, I'm moving to the northern front line. See what such a situation there is. It's not easy. It's not, it's not really ending anyway. There is no situation here. There's a war here. Russia is trying to destroy Ukraine, as it has said many times, over, over and over. And that's, that's very simply not happening. My nation is up in arms. We are arming people to try and be able to defend themselves and basically everyone in our nation is now united to try and battle this back and i must say that some of the indian students as well express their desire to join the fight that are studying here in key i'm not sure about other parts of town as far as indian students in general i mean let me just say that this situation is shocking to everyone because again nobody expects somebody to try and destroy the largest nation in europe just as a matter of fact this is 21st century talking about. But again, we are joining together and fighting against this madness to try and rekindle Ukraine no matter what. And Mr. Yurash, you're saying that there are even Indian students who volunteer to fight? Did I hear you correctly? They express desire to. I, I, they aren't on the front lines. I, I, I just uh, was talking with a member of my team who works with national students, and he was telling me about different students who express the desire to join right. in the fight for Ukraine's independence. 